The piercing wails of an infant reverberated through the dense forest, creating a haunting melody as they ricocheted off the ancient trees, this heart-wrenching scene unfolded as the boy's stepmother gently placed him atop a moss-covered stump, her actions deliberate yet filled with an unspoken sorrow through his blurred vision, clouded by tears. The young boy could only watch as the figure of the woman who had left him began to fade into the distance, her silhouette merging with the forests. Shadows as she retreated along the winding path, Anna and Leon Davis had entered the bonds of marriage at a tender age, their union initially brimming with the joy and promise of shared dreams, however, as the years passed, the once vibrant tapestry of their relationship began to fray, revealing the stark differences in their aspirations, Anna, whose ambitions drove her to strive for excellence in her career, often found herself engulfed in a whirlwind of late nights and extended business trips leaving a void in their home that echoed with her absence. Meanwhile, Leon, whose professional life afforded him the flexibility of working from home, felt the solitude of their empty house more acutely with each passing day. Despite understanding his wife's fierce determination to carve out her success, Leon yearned for a different kind of fulfillment, a family to call his own, a dream that transcended the material wealth they might accumulate following one of Anna's prolonged absences. Leon, seized the opportunity to voice his longing for a deeper connection, suggesting they take a moment to reflect on their future together. To his astonishment, Anna agreed, and the couple found themselves seated at their kitchen table, embarking on a conversation that began with hopeful undertones. Anna's revelation of a potential promotion was met with genuine enthusiasm from Leon, who was eager to celebrate her accomplishments, however, as the dialogue shifted towards Leon's plea for more. Quality time together. The atmosphere tensed, reaching a critical juncture when the topic of children was broached, Leon, observing their peers embracing parenthood, couldn't help but imagine the joy of having a little one to fill their home with laughter and love, perhaps even inspiring Anna to anchor herself more firmly to their shared life, regrettably, this vision was not one that Anna shared, at least not yet. The suggestion of starting a family sparked a fierce debate, with Anna asserting her unreadiness for motherhood and accusing Leon of failing to support her career ambitions, the ensuing argument, intense and fraught with emotion, culminated in Leon's decision to seek solace away from home, hoping that distance might cool their heated exchange, returning home the following day, Leon's heart was heavy with the desire to mend the rift between them, only to be met with silence. A note left on the refrigerator served as a cold reminder of their unresolved conflict, announcing Anna's impromptu retreat to Florida, the house, once a sanctuary, now felt like a prison of memories and unspoken words, driving Leon to seek escape in the mundane distractions of the outside world, wandering aimlessly, he found himself in the familiar, dimly lit confines of the local bar, there, amidst the low hum of conversations and clinking glasses, Leon contemplated his solitude, surrounded by faces that mirrored his own sense of displacement, particularly at this juncture of the day, Leon was on the verge of diverting his attention back to his beverage when he noticed a woman making her way toward him, adorned in her waitress uniform, the woman gracefully navigated the bustling environment with a petite tray in her hands, as she neared the counter, an intrigued observer, a man, was captivated by her movements, she effortlessly gathered another round of beverages, her long, blonde locks cascading elegantly as she proceeded to the following table, it wasn't long before this observer, known as Leon, found himself beckoning the bartender for another drink. His mind crafting excuses to prolong his stay, his gaze frequently wandering towards the waitress, roughly an hour had elapsed when the woman, in a swift motion, pivoted around, caught in the act, Leon reacted instinctively, his movement so sudden that it resulted in his drink tumbling over, the contents spilling across the counter, a gentle laughter escaped her as she approached, extending a handful of napkins she had retrieved from her apron, Gratefully accepting them, Leon engaged in conversation with her as he tidied up the mess, the waitress introduced herself as Natalie, sharing her journey of moving to this town for college and subsequently falling in love with its charm and deciding to stay post-graduation, as they conversed, Leon, who had been feeling a void in his life since his wife was not around, found comfort in Natalie's company. He casually suggested they continue their conversation over drinks once her shift concluded, Natalie, also yearning for companionship. 
agreed without hesitation, thus, after her shift, they found themselves at the bar, their evening filled with laughter and shared stories until the bartender, noting their inebriated state, decided it was time to stop serving them, realizing neither was in a condition to drive and not wanting the night to end in his lonely, empty house, Leon suggested calling an Uber. Natalie concurred but then hesitantly mentioned her predicament of possibly being locked out of her apartment due to forgetting. Her keys and her roommate likely being asleep at such a late hour, Leon, ever the gentleman, offered his home as a solution, reassuring her of the availability of a guest room, relieved to escape the now stifling atmosphere of the bar, Natalie agreed, and before long, they arrived at Leon's residence, the presence of another soul seemed to breathe life into the space, and Natalie, still buzzing from the night, proposed watching a movie. They settled on a romantic comedy Leon had intended to watch with his wife. Hannah, as the night progressed, an undeniable connection formed, leading them to share the guest room bed, a decision made in the haze of alcohol and loneliness, the stark light of morning brought with it the harsh reality of Leon's actions, amidst the throbbing headache, the clarity of his betrayal dawned on him, whether it was the influence of alcohol or the profound sense of loneliness that prompted his actions. Leon was left grappling with the guilt of having been unfaithful to Anna, despite battling with feelings of guilt, the man simultaneously experienced a comforting sense of fulfillment, this sense was magnified as he listened to Natalie's movements upstairs, while he busied himself preparing breakfast for them both, it was a domestic scene he had long envisioned for himself, after engaging in several hesitant exchanges with Natalie, who worked as a waitress. The two found themselves increasingly in each other's company during Anna's absence, Leon was acutely aware of the necessity to confess to his wife upon her return, and he solemnly pledged to do so, however, his plans were thwarted by Anna's sudden and early return from her trip, which had been abruptly shortened by a week, communication during her trips was minimal, mostly limited to sporadic phone calls, hence Anna was utterly blindsided upon her return. She was confronted with the sight of unfamiliar women's clothing strewn about their shared residence, although Anna acknowledged her own imperfections as a spouse, the thought that Leon could engage in an affair had never crossed her mind, overcome with rage, she sought explanations from Leon, only to be met with his voicemail, frustrated, she resolved to confront him directly upon his return, Leon arrived home nearly two hours later, after ensuring Natalie reached her workplace at the bar, he was immediately met with Anna's palpable anger and accusations of infidelity, which he couldn't refute, his apologies and explanations that he had intended to confess were met with an intense argument that lasted until late into the night. Ultimately, Leon collected his belongings and left their shared home, symbolically leaving his wedding ring behind on the kitchen table, Anna's anger intensified as she watched him depart, despite his guilt over the affair, Leon realized that his moments with Natalie represented the pinnacle of his happiness, that same night, Natalie, who was concealing her recent discovery of being pregnant with Leon's child, joined him. Faced with this revelation, Leon recognized his new responsibilities. Towards Natalie and their unborn child, alongside his existing commitments to Anna, subsequently, Leon sought legal counsel, and within months, he and Anna were officially divorced, the arrangement granted Anna ownership of their former home, while Leon invested half of the alimony funds into a modest abode for Natalie and their soon-to-arrive baby, as Leon embarked on his new family life. Anna found herself grappling with unprecedented challenges, without Leon's financial contributions and companionship, she struggled to maintain her lifestyle and career aspirations, which had once included frequent business trips, this new reality forced Anna to spend her evenings at the very bar that had catalyzed her marital breakdown, merely six months post-divorce, Anna faced professional setbacks and financial strains that led her to relinquish her home and move back in with her mother situating her uncomfortably close to where Leon and Natalie had established their new life together, amidst her own trials, Anna observed from a distance as her ex-husband, Leon, experienced a seemingly effortless transition into fatherhood with his new partner, Natalie, their joy was complete with the arrival of their son, a few months following Anna's struggles, Leon embraced fatherhood with open arms, finding in it the fulfillment of long-held dreams, despite his happiness. A part of him lamented the missed opportunity to share this journey with Anna, Leon's life appeared to be on a perfect trajectory, basking in the glow of his new family. 
Until an unforeseen tragedy struck, a tempestuous morning brought with it a life-altering event for Leon, he had advised Natalie to remain indoors due to the inclement weather while he was away at his new office job, however, Natalie, concerned about being prepared for a potential power outage, a common occurrence during such storms, decided to venture out for supplies with their son, Jeremy, in tow, as fate would have it. A powerful gust of wind precipitated the fall of a weakened tree, leading to a catastrophic accident, Natalie's life was claimed in an instant, leaving Leon to grapple with the sudden void her absence created, upon receiving the devastating news at the hospital, Leon learned that Jeremy had miraculously survived the accident with only minor injuries, thanks to the careful placement of his safety seat, the loss of Natalie plunged Leon into a profound grief. Yet he recognized the necessity of staying strong for his son, in the wake of Natalie's funeral, Leon made the decision to work from home, dedicating himself to Jeremy's care and striving to compensate for the loss of his mother, Leon channeled his energy into nurturing his bond with Jeremy, engaging in various father-son activities to foster a sense of normalcy and joy despite their profound loss on one such occasion, during a leisurely stroll through the park with his six-month-old son, an unexpected encounter awaited him. Anna, in the midst of walking her mother's dog, inadvertently collided with Leon's baby carriage, the initial impulse of irritation faded as soon as she recognized who stood before her, leading to an awkward but significant reconnection, in the conversation that ensued, Leon shared the heart-wrenching news of Natalie's passing, this revelation stirred a complex mix of emotions in Anna, who had harbored thoughts of vengeance against the woman she viewed as her rival, yet, faced with Leon's vulnerability and the innocence of young Jeremy, Anna proposed they rekindle their acquaintance. Offering support in a time of mutual solitude, she recognized the importance of having a nurturing figure in Jeremy's life during such a pivotal period and saw an opportunity for reconciliation and healing, the chance meeting in the park marked the beginning of a new chapter for Anna and Leon, one that promised to transform their lives in ways they hadn't anticipated. Despite harboring deep-seated mistrust towards his former spouse, a father's unwavering commitment to his son's well-being overshadowed his apprehensions, over the weeks, the estranged couple found themselves frequently convening over cups of coffee or leisurely strolls through the verdant expanses of the local park, yet, much to Anna's chagrin, Leon's affections were solely reserved for his son, rendering her practically invisible in his eyes, his vigilant presence never waned, ensuring that his son was never out of his sight and in Anna's care for no more than mere moments, Anna, harboring a vengeful spirit, Realized she needed a meticulously crafted plan to enact her retribution, an opportunity for her malevolent intentions presented itself shortly after Jeremy, their son, celebrated his eight-month milestone, an imperative virtual meeting demanded Leon's attention, coinciding with Jeremy's scheduled pediatric visit, initially, Leon contemplated postponing his professional obligations. But Anna's persuasive arguments swayed him to entrust her with their son's care temporarily, despite their tumultuous past, marked by verbal altercations rather than physical harm, Leon believed Anna posed no immediate danger to Jeremy, nonetheless, as a precautionary measure, he ingeniously secured an air tag within the confines of Jeremy's clothing, a decision that provided him with a semblance of peace as he bade farewell to his son, oblivious to the looming peril. No sooner had Anna departed with the child than she veered off the intended path, her mind clouded with vengeance eschewing the highway, she steered towards the desolate, forsaken campgrounds, a place where she believed her actions would leave no trace, consumed by resentment for being relegated to the background and eclipsed by her son in Leon's life, Anna resolved to inflict the ultimate pain upon Leon by targeting what he cherished most, her countenance bore the marks of her malevolent intentions as she contemplated the fate of the unsuspecting child, now restless in her arms. With a heart devoid of remorse, she abandoned Jeremy on a remote stump, convinced of. Her imminent evasion from the consequences of her actions Anna vanished into the obscurity of the woods, leaving behind a cloud of dust as she made her escape, only to be apprehended by law enforcement in a neighboring state two days later. Meanwhile, Jeremy's solitary cries pierced the silent expanse of the campground, attracting an unforeseen assembly of woodland inhabitants. The infant's distress was momentarily silenced by the mysterious howls that filled the air, and his wide eyes observed. With innocent curiosity as a gentle, 
furry creature approached, its nose nudging the edge of his blanket, in a twist of fate, what could have been a tragic end for Jeremy became the beginning of an extraordinary encounter. Unknown to the local forest rangers, a family of wolves had recently made the dense forest their home, unbeknownst to anyone in the vicinity, amid these unforeseen circumstances. A young boy's initial trepidation transformed into a burst of childlike wonder and amusement as he reached out to touch the soft fur of the wolf standing before him, meanwhile, on the other side of town, panic was setting in for the boy's father, an hour had passed since he received a distressing call from the doctor, informing him that his ex-wife and son had failed to show up for their scheduled appointment, frantic with worry, the father tried to reach Anna only to be met with a pre-recorded message stating that her phone number was no longer in operation driven by a growing sense of urgency. He quickly accessed a GPS tracking app, having previously sewn a tracker into his son's jacket for such emergencies, the app revealed a blinking dot located deep within a forest off the main highway, alarmingly far from where his son and ex-wife were supposed to be, with his heart pounding in his chest, he wasted no time in contacting the police providing them with a detailed account of the situation. It was several agonizing hours since he last saw his son when the police finally commenced a search operation, stationed at the police department, the father was consumed by anxiety and fear as he awaited any news on his son's whereabouts although the police assured him they were also searching for Anna, this did little to alleviate his distress, amidst the unfolding drama, a seasoned police officer was navigating the now dark, cold forest equipped with only a flashlight and a radio, throughout his career. He had encountered numerous missing child cases, yet none had involved a child. As young as this one, with the temperature plummeting and the forest teeming with wildlife, including potentially dangerous predators, the situation was fraught with peril, there was the looming possibility that the child was in grave danger, or alternatively, the tracking device had been strategically discarded by the ex-wife in an attempt to mislead the search efforts, as the officer pressed on through the dense, shadowy woods. The complexities and dangers of the search became increasingly apparent, painting a grim picture of the challenges that lay ahead in the quest to find the missing child after tirelessly searching for over an hour, the officer was on the brink of abandoning his efforts and retreating when an unexpected noise pierced the silence of the forest, it was a faint, whimpering sound, reminiscent of a distressed child, with no time to lose. He quickly communicated his coordinates over the radio and dashed towards the origin of the sound, upon breaking through the foliage into a clearing. He was rooted to the spot, struck by a scene that seemed to belong more to the pages of a fairy tale than reality, in the midst of the clearing lay baby Jeremy, encircled by four majestic wolves, the child appeared to be in a state of bliss, giggling as one of the wolves tenderly licked his face, while the rest of the pack stood guard, their ears perked up, alert to the officer's presence, the officer cautiously broadcasted another message, instructing his team to approach with care, as he cautiously moved to position himself against a nearby tree, not wanting to provoke the wolves, it was clear the wolves harbored no ill intentions towards the child, their protective instincts, however, could pose a threat to any perceived danger, the wolves had taken on the role of guardians since finding the child, their natural instincts to protect their young extending to Jeremy, as evening approached and temperatures dipped, they huddled around him, ensuring he remained warm and safe from any potential threats lurking in the forest, upon hearing Jeremy cry out again, the alpha wolf, who had been affectionately nuzzling the child at the officer's arrival, turned its gaze towards him, as if evaluating his intentions, time seemed to stand still as the officer waited, the sound of the search team drawing nearer, just when the tension seemed unbearable, the alpha wolf let out a soft howl, gave Jeremy one final nuzzle, and then, with a glance that seemed almost understanding, let its Packed back into the forest's embrace they watched from the shadows as Jeremy was carefully picked up and brought back to civilization, after a thorough examination by the paramedics, confirming Jeremy was in good health, he was joyfully reunited with his father, Leon, the story of Jeremy's miraculous guardianship by the wolf pack spread, leaving all who heard it in awe of the extraordinary bond formed between a lost child and his unlikely protectors, this tale is a testament to the unpredictable and sometimes beautiful interactions between the wild and the human world. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this incredible story, share your reactions and comments below.